So this video is a little bit different because I want to be able to show you how you can use the Desmos um, graphing calculator on the computer to do some of these linear regression problems. So this is lesson 3.6, which is analyzing lines of fit. Our essential question is how can you evaluate the goodness of fit of a line of best fit for a pair, paired data set? So our first example says, what is the equation of a line of best fit for the data in the table? So when you have a set of data and you want to find the line of fit for it, we can use what's called linear regression. Oops. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to Desmos. So I'm going to type into my search Esmos. And we're going to go here. We're going to hit graphing calculator. And so the first thing that you're going to do is we want to be able to enter our table of values in here. So we're going to type the word table and you'll notice a table appears. So I'm going to move this over to the side so I can see. So my X's are let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, my x's are 1, 2, so 1, 2, 5, 8, 9, 17. Okay, and my y's are 30, 55, 75, 120, 145, and 250. So once you get these put in the table, you're going to go down to the next line and you're going to type in y1 because this is connected to this y right here, then you're not gonna use the equals. You're gonna use the approximately, and then you're gonna say m x one plus b. So it should look like y equals m x plus b, our equation of a line. But what we get from here is it tells you, let's see if I can make it bigger, it tells me what my m and my b are. So I'm going to write down this equation. So it'd be y equals 13.56x plus 17.59. So there's an equation, a linear equation. Yes, it has decimals, but I'm getting that m value and that b value from right here. So there's my m, there's my b, there is my linear equation. So again, if you have a table, you can use this Desmos feature. There's a Desmos app. If you have a smartphone, you can download that, or you can use it for free. You just type in desmos.com, D-E-S-M-O-S. -S. Okay. So our next example is talking about what does the correlation coefficient reveal about the quantities? So correlation coefficient is our R value. So if you look back at my example I just did, you can see it says R squared and it says R. So R is our correlation coefficient. So if R is close to one, like this first example, then it is going to be a strong positive correlation, okay? If it's close to zero, so you can see this is negative, but it's negative 0.2. That's not close to one at all. And you see the picture here, this is weak. Meaning, oops, meaning there's very little correlation at all. Okay, and our last situation is close to negative one. So you can see this one is also a pretty strong correlation and it's close to negative one. That means it's going to be strong negative. Okay, so that is how we look at um, the R value to tell us how good of a correlation we have going on. Okay, so our last example here says the graphic shows regional air travel data recorded by domestic airline company. How can you use the data to estimate the number of air miles people flew in 2003? If the trend continues, what is a reasonable estimate for the number of miles people will fly in 2030? So first of all, you'll notice that the years 
start in 1975 and then they go up by five years. So I'm going to say X equals zero is the year 1975. So this is going to be zero, five, 10, and so on. Okay, that's going to make it easier for me to put this in. So I kind of cheated here and already put it in, but we're going to do it the same way that we did on the previous problem. So we're going to type in table, and then here's my 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Okay, and then I put in all the values. So we want to come up with an equation that models this data. So I go down to the second line. I type in y1 approximately equal to m times x1 plus b. Okay, so I'm going to move up here. So that tells us that our equation is y equals 47.87x plus 1345.04. So there is our linear equation. We can see that r is equal to 0.981. That means we have a pretty strong positive correlation with this situation. So now it says we want to predict the number of people that flew in 2003. So we have to figure out how many years past 2000 to since 19, 1975 is 2003. Well, if we take 2003 minus 1975, we get 28. And then 2030 would be... 55 years passed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those numbers and we're going to plug them in right here for x. And so our last slide is going to talk about there's two different types of what we call this when we plug in a number. So you can see 2003 is 28. 28 is not the end of our data. It's within our data that was collected. So that is going to be called interpolation. So interpolation is when the data, when the number that we're trying to find is within our range of values. And then we have extrapolation, which would be like the year 2030, when it's outside of our set of data. So you can see right here, we plugged in 28, we plugged in 55, and we came up with the value for 2003. So this was 2003 and this was 2030. So again, interpolation is if the data is within your data set. Extrapolation is if it's outside of the data set. So you're extrapolating to predict. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.